Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you a quick overview on my blood bank management system project. I am using Eclipse ID, MySQL database and Tomcat server. Language, JSP, Java server page, HTML and CSS. So let me run this project. Run, run on server. And I am also going to create videos on this project that how I just created this all. And if you need the directly source code of this project, just go to description and comment with your email address. And here you can see this one is our first page or index page, you can say that. And in this, we will move a little bit down. Here you can see the form here. And this form is used to request for blood for the for, from the bank. Okay. So first we need to enter the name. So I'm just writing God of Kumar. After that, we have to enter the mobile number 6201059685. Okay. After that, I'm just writing here God of X12 at rate gmail.com. I'm just writing. After that, we have to enter the blood group. So here I'm just writing A positive blood we need. So after that, we will submit it here. You can see when we again move to that form, you can see there form submitted successfully. Do you you will get notification within eight hours. Okay. It means that form is successfully submitted. Now, uh, let me again if fill the form and let me enter the incorrect mobile number or you can say more than 10 digits and try to submit. You can see there's a different error will be or you can say different message will be pop up here. Okay. Amit at the rate gmail.com. Uh, here I'm just writing a positive. Okay. And let me submit this. You can see and you can see the invalid data try again it means that our form is not submitted because we are entered the incorrect mobile number that's why it's showing the invalid okay this is all about the fronted part we can directly request any blood to from the blood bank okay and there's a second module you can say the admin login or you can see all we manage from here and here you can see there's a two field username and the password I just set username as an admin and the password also set as an admin. And when we enter incorrect username or password and try to log in, uh, let me show this password to you. And this one is admin and the username is one. Okay, admin one. You can see a pop-up message invalid invalid username or password. So we need to enter admin admin. Then we move to move to the admin home page. So let me click on submit. You can see we move to the home page of admin and here you can see the multiple option add new donor edit delete and list of the donor manage stock and this one is for the request for the blood so in the previously we form fill up it will in this section and the next one is for the request completed okay and there's one more button that one is log out so let me one by one show you add new donor it means that the, we have uh, uh, add any donor here and you can see there's a donor ID 5. It means that this one is generated automatically. We don't need to do anything. So let me enter. Let me fill up and let me show you. God of Sunil, Sunil Kumar, Mother's name Nisha Kumari. After that, here we just need to enter 62010596 After that, uh, we just need to enter the Zenda Smigel. That's why I'm leaving it as it is. After that, God of at the rate gmail.com okay next is blood group i am just setting here to ab positive after that we just need to enter address patna bihar i'm just writing here after that india okay and try to submit okay submitted successfully submitted and here you can see the donor ids also get changes is it's to five okay and previously this one is five but right now it's six one more thing when we enter incorrect data, you can say we written here. Let me first uh, fill up this form. Submit the Nisha. Okay. After that, here we just writing mobile number, which is more than 10 digits. Okay. After that, uh, let me add the rate gmail.com. Then in this case, form will be not submitted. So let me show you. Let me try to save this. Something went wrong, try again. And you can see donor ID is still six. It means that our form order is not submitted because some error occur. Okay. 
so this is all about add new donor part so let me move to the edit delete and list of the donor details here you can see all the details of the donor you can see the ankit kumar a name father name mother name mobile number gender email address blood group address and all c details here and you can see the previously we entered for the gorav kumar and i just want to make it as a gorav kumar singh okay and we also want to change in mobile number okay so let me go for it when we click on edit you can see we having a form with filled all the details automatically i just want to make it as singh okay and in this i also want to make it as singh okay and we just need to change the title here and we also want to change the mobile number so i am making it as a 9 after that i also want to make it as a change in the email address okay and we also make it as a bihar only bihar india and try to save successfully submitted you can see a pop up message here with a, and you can see gorav kumar singh sunil kumar singh nisha kumari singh and you can see the mobile number is get changes to 8 to 9 and you can see the email address also get changes and you can see the address is also get changes in this way you can change or update any details of the user and i just want to delete this user which uh, is the id 5 Okay, I when we click on delete, you can see it get successfully deleted. Message get changes, and you can see successfully get deleted. It means that the ID number five is ready to add. So let me go to the add new donor part. You can see donor number ID five is ready for the well new. Okay, and this is all about edit, delete, and list of the donor details. After that, the next one is for the manage stock. Like in our bank, there's so many bloods and if. Uh, so many units are available that's why we are being managed stock you can see the uh, let me move little bit down here you can see all the blood group a positive a negative b positive b negative o positive o negative ab positive ab negative with the units 110 and all you can see here i just want to increase b positive to by 5 so i need to do is first we need to select b positive after that we just need to increase so i am just leaving it as increase and we have to enter the unit which uh, like 5 we have to enter and the b positive is 95 i just want to update let me click on save you can see the b positive unit is increases by 1 5 unit it changes to 11 1, 100 okay after that we just need to uh, decrease like we just want to make it as ab positive minus 50 unit so let me make it as ab positive we want to decrease so just need to select decrease after that we just need to in decrease unit 50 let me click on save let me move again down so you can see ab positive 50 units get removed from the here okay so in this way you just manage or you can say manage stock of blood okay and in the ne in the next you can see there is a request for blood you can see we already previously submitted form for the gorav kumar you can see here details gorav kumar mobile number email address then blood group they are requested for and there is a option of delete when we click on delete it will delete it from here so let me uh, let me delete this amir okay you can see this request get deleted because we don't have uh, uh, that blood that's why we deleted that or due to some problem we had don't have blood that's why we deleted that request and now we just uh, provided the blood to this user gorav kumar it means that the request is completed so we need to make it as done when we click on done it will remove from here but in the request complete section you can see the details of the gorav kumar mobile number email address and the blood group here you can see all the details which pre previously completed the blood request so this is the last uh, you can say module of this uh, blood bank and there is also a logout button when we click on logout we will move to admin login page and when we click on home we will move to the first page so this is all about my blood bank management system i am also going to create videos on this project that how i just created this all so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you